Hey guys, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is all about modern high-end looking DIYs. So we are super excited for this. It's always fun to make some of these videos um, that are a little bit different. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. For this project, we're going to be using these two glass bowls from Dollar Tree and making little succulent planters. And we're going to be taping it off halfway to do half gold and half white. And then what I did here is I filled the bowl halfway with water and I'm going to follow the line where the water is with the tape. So a pretty cool tip here and it was actually shared with us on a recent video from Sherry Bora. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. It helped a lot to get that straight, even line. And then once you've taped it off, go ahead and spray paint the bottom white. I used Krylon gloss white spray paint to do that. And then we're gonna tape the white part off and spray the top with a gold spray paint from Rust-Oleum. Now you do wanna make sure you give this time. So maybe give it an hour to dry that way when you put the tape on and peel it off it doesn't remove that white paint and then that way we can get those two separate colors one thing to keep in mind when you're spray painting glass is that you want to add multiple coats don't try and get coverage on your first coat you're going to create drips by doing this and keep your can quite a ways away from it you almost want to just mist it and go back and forth on it and create those layers or those coats so that you can avoid those drip marks. For this project, I really wanted to try and use something that I haven't seen a lot of people use for crafts, but a lot of Dollar Trees carry. So I'm going to be using these shower curtain rings. What I did for the little candle holder is I just took a bunch of the shower curtain rings and I just glued them together, of course, with the hook part in the back. If you decide to make this, I would recommend spray painting or painting it first before you glue it together. It is just a lot easier and it covers all the crevices a lot better if you spray paint it first. This is what it looked like after I put all of the shower curtain rings together. For this next one, you will grab one of these vases from Dollar Tree and we will kind of be doing the same concept, but we will be spray painted with the satin almond Krylon spray paint first. While you're spray painting those, go ahead and spray paint the first project as well. After it was done drying, I decided to hook them around the vase like this and then I just glued them in the back just so that they were a lot more secure. I would definitely recommend hot gluing everything in the back. If you do it in the front, it just ends up a lot more sloppy. I really liked how the vase turned out. The other one, I felt like it just needed a little bit more. So I put one of these small glass containers in the top and I would put a real candle in the top. All I had was one of these electric ones. Let me know what you think of these projects. I was really excited to try and use something that I haven't used before. So just let me know if it worked out. For the wall art, I originally saw this design on Pinterest and they were coasters. So I thought it would be pretty neat to do this on a much bigger scale and use one piece of foam board. So this only cost a dollar and I thought it turned out amazing. It looks really high end and modern. So I decided to cut six eight by eight inch squares to make this project. The coasters that I saw on Pinterest looked like they were made out of stone, so they weren't completely straight edges. Um, there was a little bit of texture on them and some indents. So when I cut these out, I didn't use anything. I just 
did it freehand with the razor. If you want more of a straight edge, then I would recommend using a ruler to follow along. For this first piece, we're gonna use the gold spray paint to spray paint this half and you wanna tape it off diagonally right in half. And then on the other side, we're gonna use matte river rock for the opposite side to spray paint that. And the reason why I didn't tape it off all the way, I'm just gonna use a piece of this uh, foam board to cover it when I spray paint that way I don't have to tape it all the way off. And you'll wanna make three of these exact same pieces. This piece, we will spray paint all of it gold. And then the last two pieces, we will spray paint stripes and the white spaces will be painted gold. And these spaces that we tape over right now, we will remove those, tape over the gold, and then we will spray paint those spaces, the matte river rock. Keep in mind too, just like when you're spray painting the glass, what you wanna do is keep a pretty good distance from your foam board and just kind of mist it and add coats. Last thing you wanna do is be too close when you spray paint this foam board, because if it gets too wet, it will start to warp and pull up and we wanna avoid that. Once the gold's dry, we can go ahead and tape off that part of it so we can spray paint the other side of that matte river rock. Then the tape will pull up a little bit of the gold, but I really wouldn't worry about it too much. It adds actually some pretty cool texture to it. And then also if you have like little indents or something like that, at least for the look I was going for, again, I was kind of going for that stone look. So all the little extra textures I liked, as you can see here, there's a little bit of indent and uh, more texture. So don't be afraid if you see some of that, it adds to the overall effect, I think. And because these are so light, all I used to hang them were just some rolls of tape on the back. I just rolled up a little bit of tape, put it on the back and placed it on there. If you want a little bit stronger, you could use like a command strip, but I think tape works just fine. This next project, you will grab a large and a small 3D wreath form from Dollar Tree and you will use the biggest hoop. And you will also need a 12 inch dowel you will want to take off these metal pieces and they come off really easy. I will be using the Minwax Dark Walnut Stain for the 12 inch dowel and then these beads that I got from Amazon and there's a link in the description below. I spray painted both of the hoops with the Rust-Oleum Gold Spray Paint. We will be attaching them so that the smaller circle is more at the top with this Dollar Tree twine. Make a loop that's long enough so that you can hang it. You will put it around the smaller one and then you will add one of the beads and then you will put it around the larger one and add the rest of the beads. If you are ever wondering what stain or paint or products that we use for these projects, there is a list in the description below. Now that we've added all the beads, you will place the 12 inch dowel just in the center of the smaller ring. The yarn that I will be using for the smaller ring is this white yarn from Dollar Tree and I will be cutting them at 18 inches long. After you have your 18 inch pieces cut, you will fold it in half in a group of five and then wrap it around the ring. With the first ring finished, just lift up that yarn and we will work on the next ring. 
I couldn't find black yarn at Dollar Tree, so I just grabbed this from Walmart. This huge bundle was about $3, I believe, and we will be doing these at 28 inches long. Once those are all done and cut, you will just get groups of five like we did before, fold it in half and wrap it over the bottom ring. This time you will go a little further than we did with the white. In the end, I felt like it needed some more brown at the end where the black is. So I stained six more beads from Amazon and I will be putting tape at the bottom of one of the middle strands and I put two beads kind of towards the end and then I went three strands over and did two more beads slightly up and then I did it on the other side as well, two beads the same height as the ones on the right. The tape really, really helps if you're trying to get the beads on, so I definitely would recommend doing that at the top with the twine as well. Then to finish it off, go ahead and hang it up and you will cut it either in more of a curved kind of pattern or in a triangle. For our last project, we're going to be creating the jewelry and accessory shelf and organization. And we're going to use six of these Dollar Tree palettes. And then I decided to stain them with Ipswich Pine Stain. Give it a little bit of a darker color, but still keep it a natural looking wood. Once we have those stained, we can move on to connecting all of our pieces and we're going to glue it on just like this. So we're going to have the bottom piece and then the top piece that goes vertical, we're going to glue on top of there. Now, if you would like to, you can always use a stronger glue. We use the hot glue for time purposes. You could also even add a little staple in the back to connect these for added strength. So I would recommend doing that for a longer hold. And then after we've connected those two pieces, we're going to simply repeat that process, but I'm going to glue the next pieces onto those that we already glued together. And then we'll go ahead and glue all six pieces together. Once we have all of our pieces glued together, you could leave it just like this as a floating shelf to put little decor pieces on it, but I wanted to take it a little bit further. So I'm using one package of these suction cup hooks and we're just gonna go ahead and remove the hook part from the suction cups. We won't need those suction cups, just the hooks. It does come in a pack of nine, but I only ended up using eight of them and I spray painted all of them gold. This next step I would do before spray painting though, so you can avoid wiping off some of that spray paint. What you wanna do is go ahead and take some pliers and bend the top of that back. That's the part that we're gonna actually glue onto our shelf. I decided to put it in each of these little spaces. That's why I used eight of them total. And then as you can see here, we're just gonna glue right here that part that we bent. We're gonna place it up and under there and glue it on the bottom. As I was finishing this up, I really like how it turned out. I think the overall look, especially with some decor on top, just looks high end, a very kind of modern boho look. And if you guys enjoy these modern videos or boho, we actually have a couple playlists with a lot more videos you can check out. So we'll leave a link right here so you can jump through and watch those. But as always, thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.